Greetings, Laddingtons. Welcome back to good old Hellas. Now, I thought to take this opportunity to climb this epic statue of Zeusbra, Lightning Zeus, and we have a good epic night here in uh, in the game. I also thought to uh, elaborate on something about historic fiction. Uh, I will recommend a certain author called Harry Sidebottom, who is an, a historian who then turned to um, write historic fiction. And I have said this before, I'll say it again, I do believe that historic fiction is one of the best ways to um, get a good view of history, perhaps. And uh, the benefit, obviously, is that it's much more fun to read historic fiction than to just read a history book. But then you can obviously read regular history books as well to gain a good understanding. I will synchronize now and then I will recommend two authors or three authors more. Absolutely epic. Absolutely beautiful. Boom, there we are. And now comes the scary part. I hope I won't die now. This is the first time I do this in this game. Right, we uh, managed that. Perfect. Now, let us do the following. Let us um, adapt to pay. The big break. Right, we'll head down there and uh, yes, also I did lower the the graphic settings because my my good old computer it was simply not up to par with um, the high demands of the game. Uh, I actually looked this computer I'm playing at now it's from 2012, so a lifetime ago. The graphics card is a bit newer though. It's a uh, GeForce 1060, so um, got that last year. Now, obviously, I don't mind having a bit older computer uh, when it comes to the gaming side of things, but something I would say though is that when I render and edit training videos with uh, high quality video clips, that can be quite um, quite frustrating to say the least. So, um, so yeah, that is uh, the computer situation. So, anyway. I mentioned Harry Sidebottom. I read a story about the Roman Empire in the 200s AD. And there is a Germanic protagonist called Marcus Ballista. So, um, yeah, good, uh, good story uh, right there. I will continue after talking to this shipbuilder. Sup, mate. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that, ready to ride the waves for the right captain, and the right price. I need to get off this island. I really need a boat, Telemenes. Everyone in Cephalonia needs a boat. Or passage on one. You've seen this shit hole. All my life. Even if I had a boat, who's going to row it? You. <laughs> I'd give my left grave to see that. This is Cephalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors don't scare rumors me. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Exactly. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. Some general life advice. If you hear a rumor, so I can take his ship it's probably and not the true. At the same time. There's a one stone. distinct possibility that it's absolutely not true if you hear a rumor. Uh, that was just a uh, little side note. So I was talking about Marcus Ballista, the Germanic, he's actually an Angle from the Angle tribe, but he is um, 
fighting in the Roman army and uh, yeah the the book is uh, the book series is a few books and um, they go around doing certain missions in uh, yeah in the various Roman provinces so um, I can put up a picture of uh, one of the books here on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. So that is one almost in, in this era. 700 years, but uh, 700 years later than where we are at right now, but uh, Rome and Greece similar enough, I suppose, to, to fit the bill. So what I'm doing is, uh, usually if I'm playing a game such as this, I'd like to get in the mode, in the mood, even more by reading some uh, historic fiction. Yeah, Harry Sidebottom, uh, a historian turned uh, author. Uh, well, most uh, historians are authors as well, but uh, you know, writing historic fiction. So, can definitely recommend those books. I can also recommend. Just gonna find this. Uh, this place. Of, boom! There we are. Time to have a little chat. Yes, let's illuminate this bastard. <laughs> Con Gilden. I have mentioned him many times before. I read a book from him in the summer about Persians and Spartans. I will put this up on the screen here as well so you can see. That is a um, highly glorious book, I would say, and not the typical... I won't spoil anything, but uh, yeah, good book. Oh, the gods as my witness, I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? Uh. There is the All of them. Cyclops. I swear. All of them! I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days. <gasps> Let him go. Now we have a no. boxing match on, on our this hands. Island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Did it hurt your feelings? You <laughs> don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I... <gasps> but you're so fat. I mean, big, strong. You really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Never. Give it to me and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? <laughs> Alright, I did not expect that. Get it. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. That was a... Um, a, a mad can't maneuver indeed. Oh, missed that completely. So... Whoa. I have uh, played a bit off the screen, so to speak, so I have a new armor. Uh, but I just uh, explored some of the island. Whoop, I think we need to get out from here, otherwise we'll get illuminated. Now... There we are. Nice spot to kick. I hope you all admired the, uh, that kick, by the way. Whoop, hopefully I won't die now. Okay, power gaming mode on. I will, um... Ah, come on. I think I will have to run away for a bit. Come on then, go up. And uh, come back. Otherwise, I will die, and then uh, I have died two episodes in a row. That will be highly inglorious. Um, yes, Connie Gilden, new book. And my personal philosophy when it comes to Connie Gilden is that I always read uh, all of his books. Simple as that. If you haven't read any of his books, that is definitely something you should do. Uh, then also, special mention to Bernard Cornwell, uh, I mentioned him before as well. Not really this era, but uh, he writes mostly about British history. I just thought to mention that. 
so I have that said. Then, lastly, I have a um, recommendation, and that is uh, Alexander, God of War by Christian Cameron. Now, Christian Cameron has written some other books as well uh, during the earlier Greek period. I can link them, or not link, but put them up here on the screen too, so you can see them. Um, I do suspect that he, the author, is a bit of a liberal, though. There are certain things which makes me, uh, which triggers my uh, inner right-wing person, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but good books, anyway. I think Alexander God of War was really good, and uh, the other books, they were good enough, and they are quite well written and you get a good feel of um, of the Greek world. So that was my book tips and if you don't already, if you aren't in the habit of reading, that's actually one of the best advice I can give uh, to you if you I should be extra careful for in general time. life enjoyment. Oh sorry, that was a it was a goat. I thought it was a, a dog. Um, I'm sorry, goat. That was extremely silly of me. I will say a prayer for him, too, at a later point. But now we have these bastards to, um, to illuminate. So, also, I thought to mention another thing. And that is... I see a lot of comments... And this is probably like the third time I mention this. A lot of comments talking about the skin color of characters in this game, but if you want to aim criticism at something, do it at the amount of um, female uh, female bandits. That's something that is very historically inaccurate, if something if anything. Now, let's see here. Boom. I had to do it. Is this guy sleeping? I'm doing his. I'm doing the Cyclops a favor by killing that uh, that individual who was sleeping on on guard duty. If uh, someone had done that in the Roman army, they would have been uh, well killed. Now let's see. I want to illuminate this guy. Ah, I couldn't sneak up. Whoop. Ah, no, I caught fire as well. Not good. Not good at all. Right, I edited quickly and uh, we're back at it. There we are. Trying to engage power gaming mode now. And that means that this guy will have to die. I'm gonna see if I can make some sort of air assassination of him. Boom, there we are. And something fun to loot too. Nice. Ah, someone's sleeping. They should not have been doing that. They paid... Um, he paid the ultimate price for uh, neglecting his uh, duties. And is that actually the Cyclops? Yes, it is. See if we can... Stealth attack. Yes. Go on, mate. Get at him, boys. Yes, there we are. This used to be a nice village, but now it's just a nest of anarchy and crap. A nest of anarchy. That is something we cannot have. Hello, bruv. I have freed you. We shouldn't delay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefaronia. 
These Kefalonian bandits are no joke. That is true, my man. Don't worry, mate. I have, I have this individual. Ah, oh, there's two, uh, two bosses here. Uh, the guy we um, saved was a bit of a mad cunt, I see. That's nice. Ah, oh, not again. Not again. That's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, nice. Hello, mate. Die, unbeliever. Unbelievers are the worst. Boom, there we are. Absolutely glorious. So anyway, yet another thing I thought to just mention. Uh, I lament the fact that a lot of mainstream movies films aren't as glorious, but obviously Gladiator. Um, not Hellenic, but Roman film. One of the greatest films of all time. I haven't watched that in a very long time. Maybe it's um, time for me to do so soon. A beautiful film indeed. All right, mate, let's get out of here. I think we got some nice loot from the Cyclops too. So I will uh, have get that after this um, dialogue, I suppose. I can't thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pond. Indeed. Pot. It would actually have been a bit silly. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Alexios, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. I am the answer to your prayers. You called, and I answered. Many claim to have blood of the gods in their veins. You're the first I actually believe. How did the fight start? So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. All right, where art thou from, mate? Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home, but I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. What did you see, mate? It? What did you see? The sea god commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. Hmm, but what creature might it have been? 
Anyway, tell me about thy ship. So you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. Where is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. I could use thy help now. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship and a crew. <laughs> you save my life! It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return. So that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia! Wonderful. Alright. So... Let us go there, but first... See what, uh, what the crack is here. Inventory. We have a new heavy blunt morning star rare heavy blunt boom let's uh, go with that and then we have a new no this level eight so we can't have that yet um... all right cool and i think i will actually do the following that i will leave this episode right here and uh, I will simply do the following that I will see you in the next episode. XXO, boom.